YouTube, it's your girl Kim back with another video. So in today's video, I'm sure you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you guys, I titled it as a one week update, but it's not really like a one week update, it's just an update and what I found so far on this wig. But before we get into the video, you guys know what I ask, if you like the content that I post, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for post notifications, and if you like the video, just like the video. Also, comment down below, you guys know I love engaging with you guys in the comment section, and if you're here watching my videos, if you like my content, please support me, help me grow my channel by subscribing, and if you guys have questions and you want to slide in my DM on Instagram, please don't hesitate to do so. I'm definitely here to help in any way that I can. But yeah, let's just get right into the video. So I recently picked up this wig. Um, I'm hoping it's the last amount of money that Freedom Couture is going to get from me, but I really want uh, an icely blonde bob. And I'm in search of another hair company that can give me the same quality that I get from Freedom Couture, but maybe around the same price, if not a little bit less. So as you guys recall, a while back, I said that I wanted to get an icy blonde wig, 30 inches. Um, unfortunately, I picked up one from another hair company that didn't work out so well, so I decided to be patient. Now, I didn't pay for this wig, but I still appreciate it. It was a gift. Um, but I still wanted to get a wig from Freedom Couture because I already have two of their blonde wigs, and they're right now um, for higher-end hair. They're the only hair company that I trust when it comes to blonde hair period i haven't really tried out a lot but if i can look at a video and see like the curl pattern looks like this i know it's not natural and i know it may act up and if your price is just as close to freedom couture's price then i might as well just pay the extra money and just get one that i already know is reliable i just wanted to, like i said come and give you guys a really quick update about this hair um the only complaint and it's really not much complaining that i have to do because i'm already used to their hair i know their hair is good um i this wig is a full lace wig um i did want that because i wanted to be able to like if i want to put it up in like a ponytail or like a bun or like a half up half down the other wigs that i have they're right behind me they, they're these three right here they're stretch caps and they're good for what they are but i feel as though they limit me um in the parting space so i have one which is like the the iciest one here that's a side part and like the furthest i can go with the side part is like right here at least with this if i wanted to do like a deep side part half up half down you know i definitely have that versatility so i just again quick and i know i keep saying this because like last video i made that was uploaded a few days ago i said it was going to be quick and it ended up being like 10 minutes long so trying to make this one quick the only two complaints that i have about this wig is it's shed i i would consider it a considerable amount of hair i'm gonna put a picture of it up here um in my unboxing video you guys would have noticed that i said that the hair was shedding and i collect the hair because i've been down the road before where you know hair has fallen out and like the wig thinned out so i'm like you know what at some point in time i'm gonna learn to knot the the, the the hairs onto the lace so i can always replace the hair so i collect them i know strange but that's where i'm at now because i was traumatized spending my money and like half the hair falling out partially my fault putting it out there but i digress so um i collect the hair and i took a picture of it um and mind you, this was before I even wore the wig. So I took three pictures. Yes, I had to recall. I'm gonna try to like put them all down, maybe the side here. Yeah, all down the side here. So I took one where it shed before I even touched it. And then typically when I before I wear my wigs, I like to wash it. I took another one after I wash it and I did like a regular because I picked up like the whole all you need kit from them so I shampooed it I conditioned it um, I did their treatment I used their serum I pretty much used everything from them with the exception of adding the add conditioner I think I added in some of the Tresemme conditioner because I I didn't want to waste it so I kind of like try to use that to stretch it um, so I took one picture of the shedding before like I did anything to it one while I was washing it and then I combined them and I'll be honest with you guys the shedding I guess is a little alarming because of the amount of hair that came out I don't think I lost that much hair from I can't say from the red one the red uh, Freedom Couture wig but from my other two blonde wigs in the time that I've had it which is about a year and a half two years combined as as the amount of hair that i've lost from this week since the time that i've had it so just to let you know like their hair doesn't shed so for it to shed as much as this like i'm not sure if it's because it's a different cap construction it's full lace maybe that's the reason why but it hasn't really shed since but the initial shedding was just a little bit concerning because i'm like i just got this wig i didn't even wear it yet and the hair is coming out and if you guys know me you know like i treat my wigs for me because I spend my coin on it. So I treat my wigs like gold, which is why they each individually have their mannequin heads. 
I let them air dry. I try to limit how much heat I use on the hair. Like I do everything I think I have to in order for my investment to last me. You guys already know, your girl had hair. Well, I gave it away now because the lace closure was balding and I didn't want to like redo it, but I had hair for over 10 years. So you guys know, I really know how to take care of hair when I say I know how to take care of hair. So like, again, that was the only thing that was alarming. And then the other thing that I really didn't like, um, and I noticed, I guess that's how it was. I watched some other unboxing videos on um, YouTube of other people like purchasing Freedom Couture wigs and having it be full lace. I'm going to try to insert a picture up here um, so you guys can see what that looks like. But the back of the wig, now initially I thought it was going to be big, but once I clipped it on, it actually feels pretty snug. Like there's no like big gap in the back, so I'm happy about that. However, I wish that the excess lace on the back of the wig wasn't cut off. So it's like trimmed almost perfectly. So kind of like how you have like an excess bit of like lace in the front, I kind of wish that they would have given you something like that in the back. And again, the main reason is because I bought this wig to be able to have it versatile and be able to put up in a ponytail, you know, like half up, half down. And, you know, I feel as though that extra bit of lace would have been important in the back. They do have the combs and you can still stick it down, but the combs are so close to the little bit of, I don't want to say the little bit of lace, but the lace that's back there, that if I wanted to stick it down to do it in like a ponytail, I would feel as though I would have to move those combs because they're just so close to the edge of the lace, if you know what I mean. But like I said, I'm going to put a picture up here so you guys can see it. Um, aside from that, my initial video, I mentioned to you guys that the hair was tangling a little bit. I'm not getting any more of that tangling with the hair. I think it just may have been how it ended up in the box when it was shipping. So I'm definitely glad that I washed it and got rid of that. I don't want to say like issue, but got rid of that issue. Um, cause I'm like, I've never experienced this with Freedom Couture. I don't want to experience it now. And then the hair does feel just as soft. So again, not sure if just during shipping, it just kind of lost some of the zhuzh cause it definitely got it back. I was out today in 100 degree weather and i've done nothing to this wig but like comb it out with a comb i mean i flat ironed it to get it like this but all i've done was just comb it out it just it behaves the way i expect a freedom couture wig to behave that wraps this video thanks for watching bye for now